Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Shipbreaker. In this episode, I'm going to be tackling a big ship. But before I do so, I have a little bit of LT left to upgrade my equipment, so let's get around to doing that. Oh, and the equipment also needs to get repaired. Now, I have gotten to rank 6 off-screen, and with that, I am now able to do significantly larger ships... The problem, however, is that, um, well, I tried to do a couple of larger ships several times and I just end up melting down the reactor. So, I'm going to have to try and make sure that, that doesn't happen this time around. In order to get promoted, I still have quite a bit to do. I need to do another uh, 11 work orders and I have to bring in another 7.5 million. And that'll put me at rank 7. So, let's see if I can get a bit of progress done towards that. Few ship catalog. Uh, let's see something that is worth quite a bit. The Leviathan cruiser, total value twenty-two million, and uh, a class two reactor on there. Let's get to it. Now, not that many updates on the dad front today. Slash this week, not that much has happened. Uh, wife's doing okay, so for this episode, I thought I would just focus on just well trying to take this ship apart as cleanly as I can. So this is a cruiser class, as you can see it is significantly larger than the ships that I have dismantled so far. They even come with their own sensor tower, and the sensor tower has to go to the barge, so let's put that down there. Whoa, down here. Alright, they got the sensor tower. Right. Um, I need to get into the ship first, and I need to start dismantling it from the inside out, because the other way around doesn't work. With the other ships, you can still sort of do that, but this thing is so big that that does not work. So let's get into the ship. Make sure I can uh, get the pressure equalized. That means that, ideally, if they have one of those systems in here, I would just cycle the airlock. And make sure that the whole thing's depressurized. But that's not over here. That's more inside the main cabin. Your We're now pressurizing. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, then the system... Here it is. I need this thing to be depressurized. Because that means I can now start opening other doors and make sure that there is not a whole lot of trouble when I do so. Dropping. So now I can just go inside and outside the spacecraft without any kind of risk. Now, in order to get into the bowels of the ship, I'm first going to have to... Let's see, I think they were over here. First going to have to find a ladder. And No. Hold on, where did I find that? I have taken apart a few of these ships, but I just usually manage to fuck up the reactor significantly and with that the whole ship decides to go up or at least the majority of it this is the cockpit or a part of the control room yeah that's control is it in the back here's the reactor that huge thing over there so that thing needs to get disassembled. Ah, here it is. Crawl spaces. First plan. Get some of these things dismantled. Because then I can start taking off chunks of the ship. And it'll make it significantly easier to actually get rid of these parts. So that I can actually access to, well, the harder to reach parts. And importantly, get the reactor out. Ideally, if he, before it melts down. Let's see, we got another part here. This is indeed a crawl space. It is really confined areas over here. Uh, can I reach that one from here? One thing that I have found with these larger ships is that it's not as easy to salvage them. There is definitely more to salvage. You can get a lot more cash from doing these kind of ships. The problem, however, is the parts are so big that sometimes you have to cut them up into smaller bits in order to just get them dismantled. What is that? Data drive. I'm still not exactly sure on what to do with the data drives. I mean, I've collected a few, I've decoded a few, but then the next step? 
Because they don't really seem to offer you any kind of bonuses. But we can listen to that audio tape, supposedly. Oh, or not. Alright, over here we're starting to see the space again, the barge down there. So this part, there we go. Slowly detaching parts from the keel. These have to go into the furnace. This is the processor. No, nope, not you. Shit. That was the wrong thing. I had hoped that they wouldn't collide with each other, but here they are. Okay. This is going to make it a bit easier to start salvaging the rest of the ship. But there are still plenty of connections that need to break. So you can see, this thing is no longer exactly aligned. So I can just sort of push against it with the jetpack. And that is actually going to tear a large chunk of the ship off. Just a bunch of side paneling. So let's try and get that away here with a tether. And I think that I can do the same thing relatively safely here. Yeah, see, and here's the problem. These things are so heavy that it takes me usually more than one tether to actually get them to the position where they need to go to. And that just takes me a bunch more time. Alright, that one's going. I'll try and bring this one to me. And then just tether it up. Get over there. Now, let's do that with the rest of the paneling. These still need to get broken down. We got a bit of a keel here. The keel, I think, is also attached on this side. Where was it? Here. Yeah. That's part of the keel dismantled. This part's coming loose. There should also be more over here that I can just push away. Like that. Very good. This is another important connector part for the keel. Now I know that I can do this with the uh, swift saw, or whatever it's called. Um, I'm a bit reluctant to use that thing at times because I have on more than one occasion accidentally cut into the reactor and the reactor didn't really take kindly to that and uh, promptly exploded in my face which caused the loss of a shift Let's see, are you loose yet? No, but you are This thing is starting to drift apart which is good, because it means I can get to this uh, coolant tank and just pull that out. There is still a bit that's interrupting the ability to take this part off. Or no, it's just the weight of the whole thing. Oh, oxygen's critical. Alright. Fortunately, these ships do come with a lot of oxygen tanks. You just have to go and find them. And usually they have a room, sometimes more than one, where they store oxygen tanks. So I can just go back through here. And this is an O2 canister. Oxygen Saves me the return trip. Alright. Uh, let's get this thing dismantled. And I'm now going to the wrong side of the ship, I think. Or at least... No, actually, I'm at the top... Oh, there we go. Now I'm at the top side of the ship. This thing can go here. Eventually. This is what I meant. Parts are really heavy. Oh, hold on. Where are you going with my block of coolant? No, it's not a block of coolant. That is a uh, fume chute. I don't think I can save that one. No, should not have dismantled that that fast. That's 1,050 kilograms of nanocarbon. See, this is one huge panel. I need to break this thing up into smaller chunks. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard to get that delivered. Are you loose? No, you're not quite. This thing has to get broken down into smaller bits. The keel is loose. So that titanium keel can be uh, dropped off separate. 
But this seems to be one huge chunk. And I don't... Oh, maybe here. If I melt down this panel, that's going to help. If I can get it to go hot enough. No. Crap. Okay, let's continue getting that keel out of here because that's also quite a lot of weight. And uh, I have a, a work order for salvaging nanocarbons and uh, other metals. So this thing should line up perfectly there. Off you go. How am I going to get this thing out of here? Maybe just cut it. And cut it again. It's still attached somewhere. Oh, right. It's attached to this thing. But I can't very well cut through here. Alright, fine. Let's see if a tether can do it. I kind of doubt it. Yeah, we've we got five minutes left. I need to hurry this thing up. But this is not one of those ships that you just do in one day. This is going to take me a bit more time than that. Alright, that part's going into the processor. Excellent. Now, I can probably tear this one loose. And generally, bring that over there. And then over here, we got another plate. And here... I still have seven tethers, so I can just get a few tethers to start doing this. And this bit's also loose. Off you go. Okay, we've cleared out most of the bottom of the ship. Just the more bow-oriented parts need to go. Let's see if I can get that done in the next four minutes. And then the next shift, I can start focusing on the more complex parts. Let's get that coolant tank out of there. You don't need to go into the processor. You just need to get to the barge. Same thing here. I don't believe I have a work order per se for these things. But they do make me a bit of money. Oh. Come here. And get... Oh, oh, it's going to start leaking. Get down there. You, over here. Look at the size of that thing. This is supposedly 10,346 kilograms. I have one tether remaining. Is that a hatch? No, it's just a nano carbon panel. I just need to shove it in there using the jetpack as a sort of extra booster. Last tether. Warning. No tethers remaining. I know. No tethers remain. We'll just have to make do with what we have. Get that panel in there. Because with that, I might immediately get that salvage nano panel contract part done. One thing that I've learned is not to toss in or to try and toss in that part using the uh, throw feature. I did that and I got thrown against the wall instead because that part turned out to be a lot heavier than I am. So when you start to throw that, or rather when you try to throw that, the game goes, haha, no you're not. Because you, relative to that thing, are very, very light. So instead of moving that panel away from you, we're going to move you away from the panel. Um, <laughs> I ended up smashing into a wall. Promptly getting a large breach in my helmet. And I think I was able to patch that just in time. But not by much. Alright, this thing's not too heavy. This whole part's probably more tether material than... Uh, just trying to throw it over there. Oh, right. This is the control system. Control panel. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Because I can get a lot of electrical components out of this. If I can just open it up. Are they loose yet? No. Now you should be. Oxygen reserves are critical. Please 
contact your plan administrator to add asphyxiation Still nothing? Coverage. Must be all those panels. All the control panels that it's actually connected to. You can just try to get the whole thing melted off. There we go. Alright, you are a mechanical panel. I'm running a little low on oxygen though. Come on. Okay, it is now starting to get seriously time to get back into the hab. I know I still have 40 seconds left on the shift, but I also have about 8 seconds of air left. So let's get home quickly. Whoa, 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 shit. Now I'm starving. Well, not so much starving, just dying. Get in here. Yes. Fresh air. Alright, I got 1.3 million out of that. I managed to destroy some aluminum panels and, uh, well, just generally, the nanocarbon is the one that really drove home the money today. Moving on to the next shift. Yeah, this is starting to really add up. My Lynx daily fees. Every day I get hit with 740, or sorry, 647,000 in additional debt. So I'm really only getting about 700k per day. It's really not a lot. Oh, crap. This is bad because now the ship is gone. Oh, no. Yep, the ship is gone. Alright. I'll just pick a different ship. At least I got an additional work order done, which is going to help me with my uh, certification onto level 7. This is a different design. Where's your airlock? Over on the side? Oh, sorry, no, there it is. There. Alright, same game plan. Make sure that the ship is depressurized first. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Because it is just too dangerous working in an environment where you can suddenly get pushed away. Alright, the whole ship is depressurized. That's good. Very good. Uh, just to make sure. Let's open these doors. Because sometimes there's still air behind that. Nope, we're good. Here. Open that door. Yep, see, there's air. Pressure level decreasing. Bit of air escaping. We got another data drive. Okay. Now, I've seen these ships before. And over here, I think, is the access hatch to get into the crawl space. So. Melted down. Side parts first. This is a significantly easier ship to work with. Uh, not terribly easy, but I have disassembled these quite a few times. So I have a relatively good idea of what I need to be paying attention to. It's not a ship that's completely without hazards, as this ship too can cause quite a bit of an issue if you try to uh, dismantle, I think, the thruster array too quickly. Because if you do that, there is a reasonably good chance that you actually end up with a exploding barrel or two in your face. So you got to be careful with that bit. This panel is still attached. Oh, here you are. And the other one, I think I got. Yeah, see here are the thruster cutoffs. This is going to allow you to release the thruster. Uh-oh. Shit, I may have forgotten to turn something off. These things are not having a good time. What is the problem, though? Because I don't think that these have a fuel turn off, do they? This is the pipe junction. Where's the pipe lead? Pipe leads... Huh. 
I think what we're looking at is a ship that's a bit similar to the one that I just disassembled. Or was in the process of disassembling. But I misidentified it. And I might have thought a bit too lightly about the type of ship that I was actually dismantling. Alright, at least I can get the thruster out of here. Or sorry, the, the nacelle out of here. So we can pull this thing down. Uh... Hello? Oh, there's the barge. Yeah, and there's the other nacelle. I'm looking for it in the wrong place. Okay, get over there. Try not to ram the other nacelle too badly on your way down, because I still need to disassemble slash detach that one. Let's get these thruster components. Nacelle processed. Very good. Alright, this thing can go right into the processor. And this is the thruster. But it's not disassembled, or sort of detached yet. So I still have to get over there and detach it. Alright, let's hook these things together. It's going to make it a little easier to manage them. You and I, we're going to head towards the processor. And that's where we'll say our goodbyes, because you're going in and I am not. Off you go. Right, so those thrusters are still attached to the ship. Maybe they're still drawing power from somewhere. Oh, fuel tank. Let's get this thing out safely. Those tend to be a bit volatile if you don't manage them properly. I'm not exactly sure why this thing is still going. Can I make some room here yet? No. Parts are still attached. Oh, here's another one. Okay, that one's open. Get this nacelle out. Nacelle is actually net you a decent amount of money in this game. Alright, you're out. Or at least you're free. And now you're out. Okay. You're gonna head over there. Just use a tether. Easier. Alright, what other work orders do I have? Because I'm not salvaging nacelles in this one, I know that. They just make you a decent amount of cash, which is why uh, I generally tend to go for them. Ah, there goes the bottom part. Alright, you are going to head over there. Whoa, that took off a bit more than I expected. Small collision there. You, get over. Shit. Up. Come on. I need you in the processor. Your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically profitable levels. Alright. Uh, this has to go into the furnace and the processor, so I'm just gonna um, sacrifice some to the process oh, sorry, to the furnace here. And I need to get back in. So I have to find some oxygen. Uh, is this oxygen by any chance? Yes. O2 canister. Oxygen right, that should keep me in this shift for a little while longer. Seven and a half minutes left. Now this whole part has come loose. But it is still attached to the rest of the ship. This is potentially a bit hazardous. No, okay, we're fine. So is that thruster good for release now? Yep, yeah, the thruster is good to go. Uh, this whole part can go to the barge. Not really all of it. But an engineering console is classed as a mechanical part. So that's something I can pretty safely bring over there. Go. We still have another fuel tank here. The 
gone. Alright. Detach that one. And this one. There is another part of the... I think... That's not technically the keel. Oh no, it's the keel on the other side of the ship. These things come with two keels. The challenge, however, is going to be to get enough room here. Because it's quite a constrained ship. So let's just open it up a bit. I need to cut some of these panels away to make sure I have some room to work with. Oh, the seats are still attached. There are seats on the other side of this wall. Gone. No, they're not seats. What you got there? Or were they seats? No, they're just aluminum paneling. I just cut off a whole bunch of it. Alright, this is all furnace material. But unfortunately it's not very valuable. Still, it has to be on the way. To make sure I have a bit more room to work with. Off you go. Medical kit's not really required, so I might as well get rid of that. Alright, this ship, this part's still attached. We can detach that. That'll make the job significantly easier. All right, Cutter, you got five minutes left. Five minutes left. Before they turn the lights out on you. It or batter. Is it loose? I think it is. Yeah, it's loose. Okay. Time to send the really big parts into the processor. Generally, that direction. Of course, that tether is never going to hold. I just need it to make a bit of room. Caution. Tether supplies running low. Yeah, I know. Tether supplies are going critical. So be it. Alright, I need you to go here before you end up in the furnace. Which would be bad, because that's really not where I want you. You're too valuable for that. Oh no. I think the gravity's pull, or no, maybe not so much the gravity, but there seems to be some sort of magnetism over there that's just pulling it in. So that's a waste of a lot of good nanocarbons. Oop. In there. Right, so the starboard side of the ship is coming off. I still can salvage those thrusters. No, not the thrusters. I keep calling them thrusters. The nacelles. So open this one up. And that one. And where's the other one? Here. And the other one's, I think, back here. Yeah. All right, buddy. Out you go. You too. You're gonna go right down. And you're gonna go right down. Okay, can I now get those thrusters out? These were the nacelles, but the thrusters are also very valuable. I just have about three minutes to do it if I want to do it on this shift. Yeah, that's the one. Get down there. Just a little cruise towards the barge. It should get there eventually. Your oxygen reserves are low. Yeah, yeah, I know. Excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Oxygen. Oh. Lost line of sight to it. Come on. It's no fun staying inside the ship, especially this close to the reactor. It's a really bad place for you to be. Salvage. Thrust of glass 2 salvaged. Just get rid of this pipe. 
Starting to get in the way. Come here, buddy. We got two minutes to do this. Down you go. And the other one. 90 seconds. Oh, I've got 44 seconds of air left. I think I'll just cut the shift a little short because flying back to get another oxygen container is not really going to be that helpful. Let's just do a bit more well. Sorry, not welding, a bit more braking. This one here. Oxygen last 18 seconds. Time to head back in. Up we go. Six seconds of air left. Alright, made it in. Right, that got me 1.1 million. However, we of course are going to get hit by that, well, that late fee again. Uh, the debt has an interest rate and I have all of these parts or all of these parts here. I'm renting the cutter for 120,000 per day. So the fees are really starting to add up. Anyway, that's all for this time. Uh, next time I'm going to continue with this ship, which means that I'm going to be recording the next episode directly after this one. So any advice that you post on this one, I unfortunately will not read in time. So next week, more parts from this ship are going to come off and hopefully I'll be able to finally salvage that reactor safely. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you soon for another episode.